Good afternoon, y'all, and welcome to round 10 of tier 2. We had to Texas, Austin, uh, where we had to quote our Circuit of the Americas for tier 2's round. And join with me in the comms, I'm Moto. Join with me is Darky. What is up, Dark Knight? What's up? Hi, Moto. Yeah, so and in, it's going to be a very good race today. Uh, you know, this track known for its overtaking and, you know, the lot of... Uh, places where you can make moves so yeah it's going to be a very interesting race coming forward yeah absolutely very very uh i don't know what to call it like uh, racing is very prominent here because of the layout a lot of places where you can go for different lines uh different setups as well you have that very long back straight uh which you would benefit from a low downforce but then you need that downforce in sector three where it's all tight and twisty so yeah, a lot of ways about it, uh, you know, very, very diverse uh, circuit. And I think we should have a better look at it by going to the track video. So yeah, 20 corners, 5.5k long, uh, three, uh, no, two DR zones, one very, very long one on the back straight and on the start finish straight as well. And yeah, very technical circuit, especially sector three. And then you have the maggots and beckets like sector and sector one. And then you have just a very long straight. So yeah, a lot of different corners. It's like a perfect test track as well with medium, high and low speed corners available. Uh, yeah, let's head to the track and see how the drivers are going to tackle. But uh, yeah, thoughts on today's race, Dark Knight, because we have championship battle on our hands. I think yeah. we're led currently by the Alpha Boys, if I'm not wrong. Let me just cross-check that. No, it's uh, with ABD, who's leading right now, and uh, Steel Sneeze, uh, who's right behind him in uh, 154 points. So, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting uh, battle today. And these guys are actually very quick. You know, they've been very consistent. You know, they're always up there. And uh, one person that we have to watch out is for Nine, who, in the last couple of races, who's been like, you know, really, really quick, getting those wins, getting those podiums. So yeah. he might not be in the championship battle, but he can make that championship battle, which is going up ahead, very interesting because he can split these two guys any way possible. I mean, you know, all it takes is a bit of bad luck for the top runners and nine can put himself right up there in the battle because he's not that far away. I think he's around 60 or points behind. Or yeah. Maybe more. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah. That's just two race wins and then two DNFs for the guys in front. But, I mean, not to jinx anyone, but it's all possible in Formula 1. And especially on EA Sports Formula 1, yeah. where <laughs> the game can also throw so much shit at you. But, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting one. Nine is certainly one driver to look out for. He's very rapid and he apparently races at a game cafe as well, which is even more mind-boggling how he's so quick. Yeah, with, we, we, uh, that we, limited we, hardware. Yeah. You know, Moto, we call him uh, Cyberpunk because uh, he's been you know, winning races sitting in a cyber cafe. So, yeah, hopefully we get uh, get to see a good race from his side. Yeah, that is a very apt nickname for him there. And yeah, Cyberpunk will be one to look out for. Another few drivers to talk about. Uh, we have Utpalutra as well. In the yeah, that is Steel uh, Sneeze, yeah. Yeah, Steel Sneeze, who is uh, very, very close to the top. Only three points between him and P1 in ABD. Uh, Vicious was a contender, but sadly he's dropped out into the reserves now. So he yeah. will not be uh, a contender till he decides to get his seat yeah. back again. But uh, yeah, yeah, I think the drivers and, are just uh, about getting ready for qualifying. Yeah, go. Yeah, and uh, one thing I forgot to mention is EP10. He might not be as quick on raw pace, but one thing that he does manage to be consistent and he's always up there picking up those points when you know people drop out and he's always there to poach those points and so that's uh one reason why the alpha boys are leading the championship with what about 50 points so yeah i think yeah. in a couple of races time i think that will also be a done deal for the alpha boys and uh it's going to be a battle for p2 between merc and uh the alpha tauri boys that's true but i think they did lose quite a bit of points in singapore uh, hopefully they can get that momentum which they had throughout the season back and get some good points on the board with their two drivers. Even Vishen, who's a very good contender as well, uh, you know, has regularly placed himself in the top half of the timing sheets and qualifying and the race. So, yeah, very solid team there and we've said a lot about them. But uh, 
Yeah, let's see and head to the track and see how these drivers are going to cope with this very technical circuit of Kota. I think there might be a, okay, there might be a bit of a delay. So I think it just gives us enough time to talk about the race which we just saw, Dark Knight. Just got done with uh, chi the Chinese GP IRL. Yeah. And it was a whelming race, not too much about it. There was a bit of chaos in the safety car with uh, safety car, yeah. that, that it's happened. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you run us through what you think of that? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, Stroll, uh, yeah, you know, it's not, he's not been having a great season and uh, we have a couple of Stroll supporters in our uh, Indian racing community, so not good news for them, but uh, yeah, he should have broken early and uh, yeah, it cost uh, a chain of events. I think Piastri got damaged. Uh, yeah, uh, so I guess we're going to be readying up uh, pretty soon. So yeah, we'll uh, head to that, but yeah, I think Stroll needs to pick up his pace. Otherwise, it's not looking good for him. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Alonso's the one who started that yeah. off. But it's, yeah, it's on the drivers behind to be careful. Yeah. And Stroll very clearly would not. Couldn't but what a save from Alonso. From... Oh, yeah. So, I think this was lap 54 or something when he was yeah. chasing Hamilton. He dipped yeah. uh, one of his wheels into the gravel. And, I mean, a 42-year-old man having cat-like reflexes like him. Like that yeah. is just mind boggling. It's unheard so, of. Yeah. yeah. It's actually unheard of. So yeah, that was a massive save. I don't know how he kept it out of yeah. the barriers. I think Sainz learned a thing. <laughs> learn a thing or two. Yeah. 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 I mean, but... Sainz was like his his first thought was not to crash the car and then Alonso's first thought was I had to make this get this over take yeah. done in this lap. So that's a mentality difference. Yep. Maybe he just reacted that much quicker as well. Maybe Sainz, yeah. you know, he already lost the car and then his priority was instantly on, you know, keeping it out of the barriers. Yeah. Alonso, the moment he felt that gravel on his right rear tire, he knew that he had to save it because he yeah. was on a charge. He was on the freshest tires of the grid and he was catching everyone else. So, yeah. It's mad, the same the strategy in, uh, strategy didn't pay off for Aston Martin, but uh, yeah, he had a yeah, he had really good pace. Yeah. That's very true. I think the soft tires didn't really work for anyone. We saw Hamilton also try it out at the start and he couldn't make any inroads. A lot of complaints yeah. from him crying about the, the, the tires not working or getting up to temperature. But at the mid, when he was on the medium tires, we saw him flying again. You yeah. know, it's normal hammer time and he made some good moves as well. But good moves, yeah. uh, soft tires not working. But uh, all these all this talk about strategy and all well, you know, got it pointed out the current race which we have right now. I think Kota also like very heavy on the tires in this game and the tires are just so easily to wear out also so yeah i, I think it it still looks like a one stopper but is it a soft hard or a medium hard for you which one do you, I, would you think is the i think the best strategy to go for is a medium hard i think uh especially at the start you do need the grip and you know you need to make up the positions but then it depends on you know how the pace is i mean some people obviously in tier one you might get to see a different strategy with people going for the hard first and then ending on the medium but uh, yeah, yeah nevertheless, I think uh, there are you know different strategies that people go for I think some some of them might even try for a two stopper I mean with the safety car and all of that that is true but again it comes down to setup as well where if you have very high down force you might actually just use the soft and the wind might not be that bad yeah but yeah. Uh, another thing to note, if you lads look at this timing sheet, we do have a comeback from Inc. today, who's, who's actually taken one of, the, one of the reserve seats on the Red Bull. So he's going to be one to keep an eye out. He's always been very, very, uh, you know, wily in his racecraft. So yeah, definitely, maybe not in qualifying, he might not be up there, but in the race for sure, he's going to provide that masala. And yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what it's, he does. But, and uh, also, he was taking part in the social races and all of that. So, I think he's getting back up to speed. So, we'll get to yeah. see him, more of him. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we do know he's got the racecraft. Can you come again, simply? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I think our streamer was just telling us to look at the track itself. And yeah, we have a beautiful, you know, qualifying timer in quarter when the sun's just coming, coming down. 
and it, it, it on ultra high gra- like in the video actually driving in in the straight it looks like a nuke is gone off at the end of the straight yeah. like that's how bright the sun is it's right in your yeah. eyes i'm you know motto uh, on, only thing that's remaining is to play skyfall by adel but uh, sadly <laughs> because we can't play that we have copyright issues so uh, we might have to avoid that but uh, yeah it does look really really good while you know watching from this angle I mean all said and done the F1 games still look very good compared to other sims out there and I think th- these conditions really set that tone as you see the sun just shining down in the curbs but on board with the first lap of the session uh on board with with De- death by monkey who I think his name is Vans in Discord so there's a car coming out of the pits but into turn 1 we're going to break at the 100 late apex over here second year full throttle already which shows that the tc will be kicking in and slowing him down but he still gets a good enough run to that into the s's where you want to keep the momentum going from apex to apex or kind of slow down at any point and you know just keep the speed up high, as high as you can so this one you want to take a cut back line not quite using the curb on the right there but still keeping it very clean very close to invalidating on the right but keeps it just within the confines of the white lines which you know it's very easy to run just a bit wide here we had the we were supposed to have the ACC the yeah. ACC quota race yesterday and even in ACC where the track limits are usually very lenient it's it's as bad as F1 i mean i'd say you yeah. worse because well, even worse you, with the white lines here yeah. yeah because it's in cockpit mode everyone's driving in cockpit mode and you can barely see the track because of how much the dash is uh, taking up Uh, how much space the dash is taking you over here at least you have a clear you know visual of where the car is uh, you know in rel- rel- relation to the track but yeah good good third sector here by net by monkey very clean lines through those uh, that tight and twisty left hander where it's so easy to lock up and you think they just very little into this fast right left hander he swings the car gets the apex beautifully there all the way up to the sausage curve into the last corner again very very good apex across the line comes across for a 30 well okay that did not register for some reason yeah that's very okay. strange that's very strange it didn't let's uh, oh, talk about the there we go bunty <laughs> there are some slow yeah moment right there but <laughs> 33.8 but death by monkey decent banker but nine uh i think nine is doing a bit of race runs here because he's two or 1.3 seconds off so far Yeah, but and, death by yeah. monkey. It's a very good lap from him. We saw, you know, taking the lines perfectly. So, a good uh, yeah. first lap from his side. Absolutely, ink slots in behind and P two a second almost off of uh, the Williams and death by monkey. Uh, on board one of the horses slots in and P four thirty five six. So, yeah, it just goes to show that uh, death by monkey's lap was extremely clean because he's got a huge gap in the drivers uh, so far right now. I think uh, Dead by Monkey's lap. I think it's actually a very good lap. I mean, if he if he was in tier one, I think that would be a, actually a very solid lap, regardless. Yeah, probably top ten. Should yeah. be top ten in tier one. No one's able to touch the thirty threes. Let alone come into within one tenth or two tenths of him. So, yeah, I think that lap is going to take some time to get beaten by. But he was vicious on the medium tires. He's seen him do this so many times. He just. Puts on the medium tires just to get a feel of the car and the setup, um, and let's see what he does on the tire, which is I think supposedly give or take six or seven tenths off the soft tire qualifying, yeah, maybe more. Uh, yeah, possibly seven tenths. Yeah, yeah, especially sector three where the grip is all required. Puts it in P four. Very good lap time by him on the medium tires, and Irvana puts it slots it right behind the Williams. It be too still a ways off of uh, that Williams time, which still looks uh, extremely ironclad right now. On board with Sandy Sunny in the Aston Martin, rounding the final corner, doesn't quite use the curbing on the right side. Oh. Yes, he usurps that lap time, only just though, not by much, by half a tenth. Seven nine nine, thirty three point seven nine nine. Very good lap by the Aston. Yeah, and Jose Hero slots it in P five one thirty four six. So yeah, I mean, uh, Stealthy Sunny and Death by Monkey. I mean, they are looking really good, especially on the first laps itself yeah. into the 133s. Absolutely, Gearshift Guru was extremely quick in Emola. I think he's going down to the car. He's approaching him. He doesn't not need to slow down that 
much early. That car is just now approaching him. But uh, anyway, better to be safe than sorry. On board with the Ferrari who missed, who has seemed to mess up and is also slowing down to the cars behind. Yeah, and I think uh, gear shift guru slowed down for the Alpha boy. Yeah, I think one of the Alpha very, boys. Yeah, it was way before than what he yeah. should have done. But anyways, doesn't matter. Get oh, yeah. Okay, so there's a uh, oh, one Alpha Romeo is uh, yeah. Vision is not here, so uh, you know there's only one driver to score points for Alpha Romeo today, and. Uh, Yeah it's Okay I think Vision has a quality ban I just I just realized yeah that's that's why he's not Yeah or maybe he's not taking part He's not he's not taking part Okay But yeah so only one one driver from Alfa Romeo scoring points today so that's uh, I mean they they have an enough of a lead where it's kind of okay but uh, yeah I think it's not that far because you know only 50 points for P2 to close up and Yeah. If they keep dropping out, you know they could lose the championship. On board with the mark of the championship leader so far. Clean lines through sector one, not really pushing the car that much, but still, it's his banker. He just wants to set his lap time to use his reference. On board, and comes out of the hairpin onto the back straight, gets a decent exit, opens the DRS for the extra few k's he will get. Down the straight. Let's have the telemetry on, simply, so we can see what top speeds he was hitting there. I think he was just shy of 320. Uh, on board with him into sector three. This sector is personally one of my favorites because of how challenging it is to nail. Your chip guru with a 33.4, a monumental lap time from the Alpine driver. We saw him extremely dominant in Imola, and he's uh, showcased that dominance yet again. Three tenths clear, no, four tenths clear of P2 actually. And yeah, I think that lap time is going to be really, really hard to beat. Avery just crosses just the it. white line and instantly Probably. jumps in the pit. So at least he's not going to lose much time by doing another in lap, so he can come into the pits right there. So yeah, as bad as that invalidation was, at least it was at a, at a good place, so he can just get back into the pits as quickly as I think. Uh, simply just inviting someone who's not in the session. But that's... yeah, Dark Knight, that's a very dominant lap time by the Alpine driver. Yeah, it is a very dominant. I mean, that that's a very good lap, even for like it's a even for tier one. I think it yeah. won't be as it oh, won't be okay. Oh, that was very close. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't. don't reverse. Reverse. I don't think. Uh, I don't think that is allowed. But okay. Oh, you know, he's gotten away with it. He's just about gotten away with it. My yeah. God. Yeah, <laughs> when you reverse, you straight up get disqualified. It's yes, it's how the yes, game is. Do, but his car is stuck in first gear. Steel's yeah. knees goes three three point two. I think the track evolution is speaking for itself now. Where uh, yeah. all the times are just ramping up, but ramping up, and these boys are pushing like mad. I mean, they are just it's it's one after the other. They are just trying out here to beat the other guys. So yeah, it's really good to see that these guys are getting really really competitive. Yeah, that's a very very quick lap. Even for tier one, that would be easily top seven, I think. Yeah. Okay, talks of a potential wet race in Kota here. That is just gonna add to the drama which we'll have because uh, Kota already a challenging track. You add rain to that, yeah, you never yeah. know what what's gonna come out and who'll be who's even gonna come out in one piece at the end of it. So. Ah, uh, yeah, that could be interesting prospect if it if it is true. But on yeah, the and, Alfa Romeo, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, and uh, tier two boy. I mean, tier two is known for you know the chaos that comes with it. So, like you said, Moto with the wet race. If a potential wet race does happen, it'll be uh, yeah, it'll be a really chaotic one at that for sure. Absolutely. He dog not quite using the curve on the entry there. I think he's written this lap off. No, his the yards is still going. So, I think yeah, on on the F one twenty three games uh, on this current game, you can't quite use that curve on the braking anymore for some reason. Because yeah. I remember in ACC, you could completely mount that curve and brake on it. So, I think the cars are a bit too low to the ground for that to be possible. He's two and a, he's three times up almost on his delta purple second sector. So this could be a very good lap time on the Alfa Romeo if he can hook up this final sector. But all the lap time is, if I'm not wrong, 
sector one and three is where probably all the nap time is. Yeah. Sector two, two is just one corner and two handpins. That's it. So you know, coming across into near into the final few corners or nearly invalidating invalidating their uh, missile, the apex a bit. Not quite using the track, and uh, yeah, he lost a lot of time. There. He lost one tenth uh, uh, in the last sector, and he's uh, gone up to P5, uh, still a ways off. Our uh, second and uh, one one point one seconds of P1. Uh, all all the way now on board with the McLaren, who might have something else to say about that. If we ride rounds oh. of the final co- uh, two corners, and yeah, yeah, he invalidated. I think that that. Re- Yeah, and uh, we are we getting to hear the drivers are complaining about uh, the sunlight. I mean, uh, yeah. that is the one thing. It aesthetically it looks really good, but not what yeah, you want. Not what you want while you are on a lap, especially yes, especially here good. where it's a very yeah, technical yeah. circuit. Yeah, here and also I think well, after the back straight, it, it, that happened also. The sun is just you know, yeah. right down in your eyes. Yeah, it's it's it does really not help, you know. It's it's, but you know, for us viewers, it's it's it oh, does yeah, look good. amazing for us. <laughs> amazing for us, not so much for the drivers. But uh, speaking of which, I think Wizard of Oz is having a mare of the session so far. Not really setting any representative lap times. I think one more thing we forgot to mention is how easy it is to invalidate over here. Uh, in yeah. qualifying with uh, sector one, especially because of how much speed you can carry. It's I think the first three S's are all flat. Oh Even wow, the that fourth really one good. is nearly flat. That shot looked really good uh, yeah. with Wizard of Oz coming through. Yeah, but like you said, Moto, yeah, the to invalidate here is actually pretty pretty simple. Now we saw even uh, ABD and uh, vicious, vicious, you know, yeah. them invalidating you. It's like. especially with the, with these cars you know these cars are very understeer in nature anyways so true true and the white and lines also with how much speed you need to carry also for a good lap time uh yeah, yeah it's very easy wizard of oz is 7 seconds up on his lap uh, granted he has inside a good lap but still <laughs> uh, he's going to be happy seeing the delta i think we third sector two purple as well but that's a very common glitch in the f1 game so Hopefully he doesn't get too excited after seeing that on his screen. Very close, Very close. to the track limits again, and yeah, he's going to write this off. Oh, <laughs> oh no, he's oh, carried no. way too much speed into the pit lane, and yeah, he has. That is the end of his quality session. But uh, yeah, we have seen this often, even in social races and during practice, where. drivers carry way too much speed into the pit entry and uh, yeah and they just understeer into the wall right there so Wait, unlucky for him even slide try and slow down for that yeah uh, corner, he just but... wanted to get in yeah i think it's one of the tracks where you do need to you know sort of practice the pit lane entry at least once to figure out how yeah. to take it properly without clashing or understeering i think it's the... yeah but i don't think it's as bad as singapore let's say i mean oh, that yeah. is i feel the worst pit entry to happen the yeah now also vouch by is six and a half tenths up on his lap this should see him improve not at all in fact actually because the car in front is uh, quite far away but never mind he's improved quite a lot he's gone up to p7 i think uh, his first lap was uh, a complete write up because i think he gained even more time than our sector yeah I don't think he has much time for another lap. I mean, he on this tire, sure, but I don't think he can go to the pits and. Can't quite see the countdown timer. Oh yeah, definitely not. Two two minutes to go. So, yeah, I think this is the point where all the drivers are going to set their final laps. Nine is down on his delta, and he's already done one lap, so he's going to cool down on uh, go on a cool down lap. So, can we have the telemetry on if he's yeah? So he's flashing. So obviously he's not. Uh, you know. Gonna be using an ERS, but will he gain that sixty percent ERS back before the end of this lap? Yeah, he'll need I to use his brakes so. a lot. Yeah, yeah, he's not he's not holding his brakes, which is what you want to do. But, so yeah. this could come back to bite him because I think fifty percent ERS is not going to be enough to. Uh, it's not going to last his entire hot lap. Yeah, and we have noticed this. I think one thing is that you know. even though the quality sessions can go bad the race is the main event and we have seen many drivers who do not qualify that well he's going to the, the pits. Comes to the, yeah, session over 
yeah. that's the session over we have seen that many dis- yeah sorry sorry go ahead go ahead i was just going to say that's a disappointing session for uh, nine who's we were i think i'm up quite a bit and he's not been able to set a good lap but i'm pretty sure he had the lap time he's an awfully quick driver so yeah uh, maybe he's going to have uh, a very good uh, race setup oh wow, that's a very cheeky bit of slip cheeky. screen Uh, that suddenly suddenly was picking up. He's got a lot of traffic into the hairpin. He just about gets out of the way there, but he couldn't quite cut that hairpin like you sh- you're supposed to. He's one and a half tenths up, which won't be even close to get him near uh, the top uh, to where Steely sorry where Steel sneezes lap time is right now. But uh, still will be enough to hopefully if we can find more time in the sector three, uh, he can get P two. Uh, into the penultimate corner where you want to fling the car in not quite using the track on the right not playing with the track limits as you're supposed to for the lap time into the last corner again not quite using the curb and he's Ooh, improved by a lot but by it's only half almost half second yeah yeah so i was just saying that you know uh, sometimes you cannot you know there are drivers who do not have a good quality session and they do really well in the race and you know we've seen that with ABD with Inc you know these guys they always there up in the race but not in the quality so for 9 it, it's not the end of the world and this track is known for you know overtaking so i'm pretty sure he'll be up there at least for the race yeah on board with Inc they do the pilot with corner missing his apex by a bit and now into the last one breaking at the black box on the right side comes across the line goes to P5. Good improvement uh, and on his comeback, a P5 is not, he's not going to be too unhappy with that and we do know that he's more of a race person than a qualifying person. Yeah. yeah. On board with Jose Hero who's had, who's had a pretty poor qualifying session so far, never mind that, goes up to P4 on his last lap. Very clutch lap time from him. Could we go on board Stealthy Sunny? Uh, sorry, Steel Sneeze because he is on a lap right now. Uh, so is ABD uh, rounding off the final corner goes P4. P4. Steel sneezes one tenth down on his delta, but again, as you mentioned, sector three is where you have where the bulk of the lap time is, is where the bulk of the track evolution is because it's all slow speed corners, and then you have this very fast right left hander chucks the car in, uses not at all any of the curving on the right side into the last corner. That wiggle might might have cost him trying to use the curving. That does oh. improve by one millisecond, <laughs> which is an improvement he did not need, but he will gladly take it. Still, the sun he has come off into. Well, I think he had already done his lap. That was his eighth lap. You were on board, so I think that's qualifying over. Steals me six pole position by a tenth in the end with a thirty-three point two. Very good lap time from him. Uh, with Stelly Sunny, Keshav Kuru, ABD, Josie Hero round, rounding off the top five right there. Yeah, a good quality session from the Merc boys, you know, P4 and 5. And we are known yeah. to see them to be, you know, they're very good in the race. So it's going to be exciting to see what they do for the main race. Absolutely is. And it could be the start of their push for P1 in the WCC as well. As you had mentioned at the start, with only one alpha being present today and him not qualifying very well. Uh, yeah, Inc gets pushed down to 8th there, so not he's not going to be very happy with that because he did go P5, but then the track just ramped up and we just saw faster and faster times. Uh, Death by Monkey, very surprising that he did not improve on his banker time. His banker was fantastically rapid considering how early he set it in the session, but uh, couldn't quite fight time in the end there. But uh, that's qualifying done and dusted, and uh, yeah, Dark Knight, any thoughts you want to add to this? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've seen from time to time, you know, Steel Sneeze is always, you know, right up there in quality session, even Gearship Guru. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's, a, it's a usual suspects right now for the quality session, but uh, race is where the main thing comes in, and uh, we'll see how uh, everyone does. And today we have, you know, Ink and Vicious and all of these guys, and they're really good during the races, so... Let's see how it uh, turns out. So I think it is confirmed to be a wet race. How hard it's raining down. Yep, wow. it's crashing down there here in Kota. It's going to be full wet by the look of it. Yeah, and, and uh, it's going to be a really interesting race. I mean, uh, especially turn one, you know, the breaking oh points change. And uh, it's uphill and it's, it's going to be chaotic. And I don't think uh, 
yeah it's it's i don't think we're going to get to see the same positions as how they start yeah it looks to be a very very tough and grueling uh, race for the, for the guys uh, for to head to the grid uh yeah i mean full bed conditions even with assist and all is not very easy to manage uh, whatsoever because of how early you need to break and how careful you need to be on the par as well hopefully the setups the, their setups have been tuned akin to the these conditions in the qualifying because uh, uh, trust me you do not want to go low wings here if it's a wet race at all i mean the dry setup in itself is very high on downforce uh so yeah. with the full wet with full wets with full wets it's going to be even more of a case of like very high downforce and i think just have information that the full uh, race is going to be full wet so yeah this is going to be a a very very uh, very tough one for the drivers i think so uh, uh wicket wiki has said that you know ssj did during the social race stood in the practice race he did a 32 3 so yeah these guys are <laughs> really close especially during quali so yeah and uh, vikram is saying that this is going to be safety car simulator hopefully that's not the case because we do love to see race scene happening here yes please no so uh, yeah hopefully uh, what you wish for doesn't happen and uh, we get to see a much better race on our side absolutely i think we just about to get ready as the drivers are just waiting for that 1 minute uh, mandatory stop time we have before the start formation lap will be on so that is a i think that's like the biggest plus in this entire turn around because that gives a chance for these drivers to you know get a feel for the conditions yeah. at least you know before heading you know going all banza in turn 1 at the race start at least now they'll know how much grip they have uh, after the formation lap i think drivers will be pushing quite a bit figuring out the grip i think it's uh, it is it wet or is it enters let's have a look at the tires simply if that's possible Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's all full wet. I mean, look how hard it's pouring down. It has to be full wet. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully no one uh, you know, have collisions uh, during the formation laps. I mean, that is a worst time to have, especially you know, oh, you're yeah. trying to get the heat into the tires and Yep, yep. And not only that, I'm trying to, you know, get to know the track as well. Yeah. That's even more important. That's like the biggest biggest like advantage these guys all have right now because of the formation lap. by far because it gives them the chance to just you know figure out their limits and the limits of the car as well as we go on board with steel sneeze could we have the telemetry on and see how the drivers are tackling in the deep pits and all so yeah he's just you know tick tickling the throttle almost not even going full throttle there and holding the brakes and just trying to get you know heat into the into the tires and the brakes uh by doing so but In terms of strategy, now that is a full wet. I think minimum one stop. Do you think anyone's going to be brave oh. enough to go for a no no stop over here? I I highly doubt it. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, I'm sure there must be someone who might go for it, but I don't think that is the way to go. I mean, you're just going to yeah. lose a lot of lap time. By oh the yeah. I think the tire wear or the tire advantage you have, like the pressure tires versus worn tires, is even more. Like that disparity is even more in the wets. Yeah. Because of how you know little grip you already have, you so you need the tires to be in mint condition all the time. Yeah, But, are, I think we have seen that in. I think uh, was it uh, Dutch Grand Prix? I think we we have seen that you know people pitting for newer uh, intermediates and suddenly they are like a second or two quicker. Yes. So. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, none of the drivers appear to be pushing right now, which is kind of surprising. Oh, Stanley, oh. Uh, Sunny having a huge tank slapper on that uh, very awkward left hander, which is just so low, uh, especially now in the wet as well. That sector, that that part of the track will be one to keep an eye out for because of how slow it already is in the dry. Now in the yeah. wet, it's even going to be way more, uh, you know, intolerable. Yeah and oh and uh, we nice can catch. see this some um, yeah nice catch is getting getting to see some uh, Texas drift over here and uh, <laughs> yeah it's it, it's going to be challenging especially and I'm I'm just excited to see how these guys you know go through turn 1 it's not going to be easy and you know with intermediate conditions it's already hard enough and uh, to go into the wets I think it's an even bigger challenge so let's see how these guys tackle turn 1 
gear shift guru has been disqualified albeit it's just right at the end of the formation lap so his tires should be plenty enough heated up unless there's a glitch which resets your tire temps in tire temps, no yeah. matter where you get disqualified but i think we're ready on the grid just a bit till the five lights come on just waiting there's blue flags for some reason okay oh, there we go three lights four lights five lights and lights out and away we go as we shift to the tv broadcast and the williams gets a beautiful start off the line head and shoulders above everyone behind him into turn one it's nearly three four wide there into that corner and i think they all come across unscathed so very very good start with the boys right there and yeah everyone's squabbling for position right now there'll be drivers will be taking it easy there'll be drivers will be pushing out all out flat out and trying to get the positions but uh everybody's had a fantastic start from p4 he's up to p2 already and he's going to be one to keep an eye out for sure in this race but very good start from the tier 2 boys very clean get away for the entire crew yeah and uh, abd the championship leader i mean that is it is really crucial for him you know to gain all those positions and now he's right there behind steel sneez so we'll get to see you know how these and those two are the championship you know leaders you know they are they are battling for the champ driver championship so yeah hopefully we get to see a really close battle between both of them I think you just missed it, but Ink went for a massive dive bomb on his teammate and the other yeah. ass car as well. He's got a, he's got three positions in that one corner, uh, but he's like fighting tooth and nail with, uh, with the Alpha Tower. You know that's Nirvan who's fighting tooth and nail with Nine, who's had a poor start. He dropped one more position. Deadshot gets a five second for track. Okay, already, okay. Okay, so he's cut some corner very madly, which is very weird because in the wet, I don't see how you can do that or where you can do that, but. Uh, not a good start from nine. He gets up one position, but uh, on board with Yoshi Pru as well. But like, not a good start from him either. Who qualified very high up the grid, but he's fallen down all the way to B12. I think yeah, he's got damage as well. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely and I think simply well. was saying something about dead shot. So yeah, he had called it that he might get a pen very soon, and uh, <laughs> yeah, he did get a pen very soon. Absolutely, the gap 1.8 seconds just after one lap, a very very quick dominant lap from Williams and putting his mark on the grid and it's important that you start, you know, ramping up your lap times and opening up a gap now because once the tire wear kicks in, it's very hard to push. Uh, sort of always trying to go for a move around the outside but missed as later on the brakes but on the outside he's going to have a straighter exit but can't quite compete with the Ferrari who has a superior traction on the inside right there. The track looks really, really difficult to drive in. I mean, these guys are really, I mean, they're pushing to be fair. I mean, we get yeah. to see a lot of overtakes uh, being done and uh, obviously now E-Dog who's putting pressure on Inc. Uh, who gained a lot of positions, especially on lap one. So let's see how Inc. defends from E-Dog to keep that P7. Yeah. I think the inter the time one the second interval, see that. Oh uh, yeah, and till motor concern and we can see you know E Dog right here who's made up the position on Ink. They're going side by side and Ink trying to get in that slipstream might look for a move and he does try to go for a move but yeah they do make contact and yeah luckily they do not spin and. Uh, yeah, the, that battle is really, really close between these two guys. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, you just missed uh, Ink and E Dog. I mean, they're still oh, battling it out. They're still scrambling. Ink is, is putting on a shove there. E Dog trying to hold it around the inside. It's not going to be able to do so. There's yellow flags yeah. behind. That's missed. Who's gone off? I think that might have been a bit of contact between Wizard Wars and Mist right there. Which she might, might have missed. Uh, no pun intended. Well, yeah. <laughs> there, E Dog right behind Ink, and uh, Ink is proving uh, to be a proper moving chicken with these cars behind. All aboard the Ink train right now, who seems to be out of touch of the game, and it clearly shows as his cars right behind him squabbling for position. Yeah, and uh, okay, the Delta is uh, back fixed now itself, properly. Yeah, yeah fixed itself. So yeah, now this, like you said, it's a ink train and all these guys, you know, just right behind each other and it's just, you know, it just you just have to wait for one mistake and it could be really, really chaotic. So hopefully these guys don't manage to do that. But uh, yeah, 
But then up ahead, I think Joe's the hero is right there, but then Vicious as well. But uh, Ink is still holding his own. Uh, we go on with the beautiful helicopter shot, perfectly timed right there. And another very good shot as we see all the cars is closely following behind uh, Ink right there. Uh, nine trying to get a wider entry, uh, uh, sorry, narrow entry, trying to get out of the spray the car in front and we know that nine is more quicker than these guys in front of him all he needs to do is be patient with it but again in the wet it's just so hard to overtake because you neither do you have drs it's just all dependent on the driver as well you know how to get up yeah. he might go for a switch back here z-dog's trying to go for the switch back but in he gets it done now the outside goes the alpha Ink is going to push him off the track, certainly. I think he's still going side by side. Very good yeah, racing action right here. Nine is going to invite himself into this party as well. E-Dog gets the position done and dusted down the inside. What a beautiful move by the Alfa Romeo right there. Yeah, what a beautiful battle between these two guys. Keeping it really clean on the edge. And this is what we do like to see. Oh, and no. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's uh, going to be... A penalty for sure, but uh, yeah. yeah, it's for the stewards to decide. But stewards I think uh, Joseph was trying to be a bit too aggressive on that penultimate corner, and everybody's gone for the intermediate tire. So I think the rain is probably dying down, or is that a very bold strategy call? Where he, I Does... don't think it might be the right one because the rain's still coming down hard on our screens, and it looks very, very wet for Inter's right now. But yeah, a lot of drivers are responding. Okay, all of them are trying to pull off a, a different masterclass of a strategy over here, but maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. There's a virtual safety car, which is out for Death by Monkey, who's uh, hit the arm go on the S section there uh, as he lost his car. Luckily, no safety car uh, so far, but uh, it's going to give a chance for these drivers to come and collect themselves and also a chance for Avery to see, Avery to, to, to see if the enters are actually worth it right now death by monkey slowing down for the delta i think that is a very weird line he had to take there but uh, i think he's gonna have to come into the pits as well for a wing change uh, Otto, what uh, do you think of this considering the spray do you think that these guys are going for the right decision i mean you know, visually you can never tell you know visually as well it all depends depends on when you're driving you can sort of feel if you're if you, it depends on the tire temps as well that's another very good way to check you know if your wet tires are are getting too cold uh or getting too uh too cold i think yeah or too yeah. Sorry, getting too hot my bad too hot, then yeah. it's probably time for it is so yeah yeah it's it's, uh, it's it all depends on driving but so far it's, i still think it looks like wet so i think now the rain has sort of died down a bit yeah, I mean, this this is a pretty much a 50-50 gamble. I mean, it's either going to make you look like a hero or a zero. So, hopefully that... Oh, Nirvana gets a DT. DT. I think one yeah. more guy has got a DT because I can see one more penalty. Which can can we see the on. penalty simply? Yeah. Yep. Oh, right. three drivers. Three drivers have... Oh, three DT. drivers, okay. Ah, boy. That shot who got a five second had to pit to clear that has now got a DT on top of that as well. So simply will be quite happy in the background right now. As we have Ashwara Raikkonen coming into okay. the pits, also changing. I think, yeah, then maybe Darknet, you might be right. It might be dry enough for Inters right now because majority majority of the drivers are doing so. But the, the, the leaders have opted to stay out on the wet tires, especially Nine as well, who has nothing to lose right now. Uh, yeah. But uh, you never know. Maybe if if the inters are faster, then the delta will be massive. Once green flag racing is resumed, and it is it has resumed right now. So on board with the leading intermediate driver right now, and let's see how quickly he's going to get through these corners. Eight point two tenths, seven tenths now. So yeah, definitely inters are the right now. Yeah. Purple sector one as well. So I think that that was the move to go for, and uh, yeah, and at this this turns out in a big favor to ABD, you know, who who took that gamble and it looks like it's paying off for him. And uh, with the amount he'll gain, I think, uh, yeah, by the time Steel Sneeze and Stealthy Sunny pits, ABD will be move. making massive gains. Yeah. Very smart move. The Alpha, the Alpha Tauri misses breaking point there and he just slipped on by ABD. That's a very smart move. And that's the sort of moves he needs to do to not lose much time. Nine is going for a move down the inside of the Alpha. Gets it done, but E-Dog's got more, more to answer from that. 
again this section again providing such good wheel to wheel action as Knight tries to hang it round the outside into this right left hander which is cambered so he's gonna have the advantage on the inside and gets the move done he's not gonna go for another switch back but is not able to put the bar down that's a beautiful bit of racing action right there between these two drivers yeah and we can see abd catching rapidly to e dog and nine so yeah it's going to be uh, just a couple of laps before you know he'll be there up with the top two you know fighting for that win so yeah and steel sneeze has gone for the pit but not stealthy sunny so stealthy sunny is still holding out I guess he's hoping for a safety car and... Oh my god, off. no way. Did you predict that? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, there's someone oh. on the wall. Wizard of Oz yeah, has done the same car. thing. That's a safety car. That's exactly what I was saying. The moment he said that, there yeah. was a safety car Dark Knight. And so, not only that, Wizard of Oz has done the same thing that he did yeah. in qualifying. He's hit the wall on the pit entry. And that's caused a safety car. Yeah, no I mean, doubt, even real life would have a safety car. But my oh my, that's going to put a spanner in the works. Mister's gone for the hard tire. What is that? What is happening? And uh, <laughs> you know, Wizard of Oz. You know, it's one thing is missing the braking point when you're on the dry tires, but missing <laughs> missing the braking point on the wet tire is a different thing. And Wizard of Oz has managed to do both of them. So, not a good race for him at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's worked out perfectly for Stealthy Sunny. I mean, you know, he held out for a safety car and uh, yeah, and uh, he'll be, I guess, holding down that position once he comes out of the pits. I'm sorry, but why is the Ferrari on hard tires, man? At least softs, maybe yeah. I'll understand because softs would at least be yeah. the quickest to get up to temperature. But why the hard tires out of all of them? Surely that has to be a misclick or some issue. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but... it's not really helping that a Ferrari has gone for the wrong tire, but uh, yeah, it's hopefully cannon. it's yeah, it's Ferrari canon. <laughs> exactly. Cannon. Hopefully, it is just a mistake, and he goes into the pits for inters because this is definitely in no way, shape, or form it's dry right now. Uh, I got to feel bad for ABD. He got the perfect strategy, and the safety car just really helps Steel Sneeze right there. But I think Selby said he's going to be the most unlucky driver right now. He's got a 12 second gap. I think after pitting, maybe he's going to come out P5? Or, no, probably P4 for sure, yeah. Because 9 is way behind uh, the likes of ABD. So I think P4. So not too bad for Selby Sunny if he pits. But uh, he has to pit right now, and he does go into the pits uh, right I think he'll, so. I think he'll just come, he'll be tied with ABD for sure. Uh, if he does manage. But yeah. But at least it worked out in a way for them because. They did not pit uh, under the VSC in the first place. So, yeah. I think... Will he... Okay, so Steel Sneeze has made the jump and like I said, it's going to be really tight with ABD. Will he get to keep? No, he won't. So, yeah. Moto, do you think the three lap, like the difference in uh, the tire wear is going to come into play later? Maybe not now, because it's just two laps. Uh, three laps, uh, where, yeah, definitely. It will definitely come into play. I mean, IRL, we can see the difference between three or, or five laps of where. So, yeah. Especially on enters, it will be accentuated as well, as, a, as I mentioned before, because of how much grip you do need in these conditions. So, yeah, yeah. I think Selzy Sunny has got the best tires right now, and he'll be happy with that fact. But again, it's another thing to overtake in the wet as well. Not quite easy to do so in the game, uh, where it's not as tricky as real life wet weather driving. But uh, you never know; it, it, it could benefit him. But I think so far, uh, Steel Sneeze is in the perfect uh, position to win this race. Uh, AMD close behind on two lap older tires compared to him. He might also have a chance to answer on this uh, tire. Maybe on the wets he wasn't as quick as uh, the Williams. Maybe on the inters he might be quicker. You never know. So it's all yeah. to play for 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 all these guys right now. Simply, is there any chance that it might go to tries towards the end or something like that? Or is it a completely wet race? Okay, so it is a completely wet race. So there's not going to be any changeable conditions, I guess, anymore. So yeah, we're going to see these drivers take these tires on. I think pretty much till the end of the race. So yeah, and that... Yeah, but uh, let's 
but and uh, I think these guys are going to go till the end. I mean, there's no reason for them to pit, and that's when the tire difference is going to come into play, especially for Stealthy Sun. He was on much fresh tires. To be, to be fair, to 21 laps on the inters also, I think might be a bit too much. I think another stop might be required. Yeah. Unless but you never you, know. Yeah, but you never no know. Pits, then there's no yeah. point of. Uh, but whoever does pit for the fresher tire, he'll be one to watch out for because uh, the time difference in the lap time will be massive. Exactly. Uh, but uh, if I were in this position, I would, I would see. I mean, after five laps, I would check the amount of wear per lap, and then would make a decision. But uh, I, I don't think 21 laps is worth it on the inter tires. I think I think you lose a lot too, a lot of time, and it's going to be risky as well with uh, you losing the car as well. Yeah. But uh, while we have the safety car, could we have a look at the biggest losers and winners of the race so far compared to the starting positions that yeah, we have that right now? Nine is easily the biggest one by gaining five positions on his race starting position and gear shift guru evidently as we saw, uh, as we saw that is, uh, is the biggest loser by losing seven of them. Uh, but the safety car has equalized things a bit now, so he has a second chance, if you will, to yeah. make that damage, uh, you know, reduce that damage. And, that, uh, uh, you know, Moto, with, with Gearshift Guru especially, you know, we have seen this before where he qualifies up ahead and it, during the race, for some reason or the other, he's always down there. So, hopefully, like you said, you know, this the wet race does help him and he's able to, you know, at least gain all the positions he lost and, you know get some good result, take on some decent points back home. Yep, absolutely. Uh, but it's again going to be a long ask because he's got a lot of drivers in front of him. Very quick drivers as well with the likes of Ink and Vicious and E-Dog and all. But um, yeah. Though right now, I think the biggest bet to win the race is Steel Seas. He looked ironclad in the starting stint, like no one could touch him whatsoever. He had a healthy gap and I don't think he was pushing at all whatsoever either. Uh, Nine could be one more driver who didn't look quite comfortable in the wets maybe, but on the inters he really did, has uh, put on a show with that beautiful overtake on the Alfa Romeo. So another another driver to take note of as well and then ABD is right there as well I mean the championship leader he's, he's going to take it safe he doesn't want to push too hard he's leading the championship albeit by three points oh okay just realize that's it there's the two rivals in P1 and P2 right now so it's a perfect story for a battle right now so yeah ABD is not going to hold back whatsoever I stand corrected he's not yeah. going to take it easy because his uh, rival is right there in P1 I think we're going to have one more lap of safety car yeah one more lap as the Aston Martin of Deadshot has to catch back up to the field. But, um, yeah. yeah. Just uh, that. Sandeep has called me a bookie. Uh, I can say for a fact, I just, that is just a coincidence. And, uh, yeah, I did not plan for a visit of ours to uh, cause a safety car. But, yeah, that is just unfortunate from his side, I guess. Dan is saying, how can you make the same mistake twice in the same race? Well, it was not in the same race, it was in the qualifying and the qualifying. race. Qualifying. Yeah, we get what you mean. But same race yeah, weekend, it's, yeah. It's, it's different conditions as well. Maybe he didn't quite read the track well enough. Uh, it is a very bonsai pit lane entry because you can actually gain a lot of time by if, by nailing that uh, pit lane entry and just sending it in there. So I, see, I, I, I get what he was trying to do, but it didn't quite end well. Yeah. Uh, I think we have noticed this, Ian. It's it's just, like... Wait, I, I, I just saw the last driver's swap positions. Yeah. That Sainz has been bended. He's bended in the yeah, S section. Yeah, bended. Can we go on to the last half step to Vettel? Well, now Bakhtar? it's too late, but I think he did lose his car. Now he's got yeah. going again. I don't think yeah. he's right here with us. But yeah, the Haas definitely did lose his car under safety car conditions. and. That's a position to gain for that shot. Yeah, and uh, we can, I guess, safety car should go in this lap. Uh, yeah, and uh, let's see what ABD can do. 
because he has to challenge stealthy steel sneeze right away if he wants to make some sort of gains and we have seen steel sneeze especially at lap 1 how he pulled out what about a second or two just within a lap so we know how dominant he is in the wet so uh let's hope abd at least on the inters can put on some challenge and uh, get that p1 since it's really crucial for him for the championship battle yep and we are at the tail end of the season as well with only three more rounds to go after this exactly so it's going to be all to play for between the two championship leaders who is going to win is going to take that well who's going to finish higher than the driver uh, in behind is going to be the efforts p1 and 2 though uh getting ready for the safety car restart uh, we can see him riding the brakes to get the tires up to temperature and he is gone he puts the bar down ud is read that well enough 5 tenths 4 tenths behind so good restart by both of them a few positions being squabbled behind vicious has lost his car or has he gone into the, into the pits i think he's gone into the pits yeah so yeah. he's got probably got damage in the safety car period which he's have to which, which he's have to repair right now and uh, that's not going to help him too much in the long run of things uh, i don't think there's going to be another safety car in this race but uh, your top 3 are all separated by exactly 9 tenths and it looks like a very calm restart no one's really challenging anyone into any corners right now uh, on Bodo's Inc who is uh, sort of trying to get gear his way get into the rhythm in these conditions and uh, get them to that e dog but and, so far uh, it seems that e dog is uh, speeding away from him also abd uh, no steel sneez has almost pulled out a second and he has pulled out a second from abd so he's you know we have said this oh before he's a, he's a really dominant in the wet and uh, yeah a very close battle between aishwarya raikunen and mist and uh, yeah followed by dead shot who's right there and does he make the move stick yes he does Oh wait, there is stag by the Haas. He is stag by the Haas. Surely that's uh, going to be a five second. But the thing about the Stewart is because he wanted to pass essentially. Yeah. But further up ahead, yeah, you're right. Two seconds now already, and it's not even been a lap. So he is he is really pushing it and uh, showcasing his dominance. Uh, uh, that's one what 1.8 seconds in this one safety car restart lap. He's uh, that's that's how much how much time he's gained. 47.4 is the fastest lap he sets right now, and ABD is already 2.2 seconds behind, and he's made a mistake because uh, the the Aston of uh, Sun is all up uh, in his rear right now. Exactly. Still continues between Mist and uh, the Haas to Lyken him to turn one. He was trying to eye for a move, Mist leaves him enough space, uh, even though he didn't need to. He was around the outside and is going to straighten out his. Uh, breaking but again can't quite do so and that's uh, the Haas oh no. and dead shot no. uh makes contact with mist and yeah mist has red wing damage i mean that surely must be end of the race BSC's for him out. yeah vs is out so yeah that was very you know it is very risky from dead shot and it did not pay off and yeah that's that's going to be a report for sure Yeah, I think he just lost his rear a bit, and while Countess chilling at E8, yeah. uh, the Ferrari. But it doesn't matter; it's still on him. Yeah, and uh, so, that that that's a very risky place to make an overtake, even on the dry tires, especially with since it's you know very narrow, and uh, in the inters, obviously with that much less grip, it's not that easy. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Safety so car safety is car. out. So Again. I think that debris is a bit too much. So never mind. I stand corrected. The safety car is out, and yeah. now I think the tires will make it to the end easily. So no one's going to have to pit again for sure. But um, yeah, another safety car to hamper the race, and uh, we're going to have to wait for a while for uh, the race to resume. But from the looks of it, I think Steel Sneeze has got bundles of pace on the mark behind. And I don't think it's going to be a contest between those two. Uh, what ABD needs to focus now on is not losing P3 or P2, sorry, 
to the Aston and the Alpha Tauri behind him. Yeah, and uh, no drivers going. I mean, I thought you know, you know, there have been times where drivers do go and pit for you know uh, newer tires, and we can see actually Vettel, uh, Bihari Vajpayee, and Deadshot going to pits for new tires, and that's obviously going to come into play later during the race. Yep, Mist comes in to fix his uh, broken pin. Few more drivers are coming in, dead shirt as well, and so is Vettel. Um, these drivers are going to have really fresh attacks, but in the long run of things, I don't think it's going to be enough to uh, get too many places up the grid, up the field, and yeah, I think it's just going to be a battle of attrition and just tire saving till the end, trying to get these intermediates. Slowly and surely till the across the line to the till the checkered flag. Yeah, but I think the safety car might come in this lap because there's not. Yeah, a they're huge very gap. close. Yeah, yeah, not a huge gap. So maybe it is the first lap, right? Or it's I think it's no, the first it's the lap. One. I think it might be the second. One. What else? What else? So they, it's kind of interesting to note that yeah, Sunny Sunny has three lap fresher tires than AVD. Maybe that's why he's uh, AVD sort of losing a bit of time to he was lo losing a bit of yeah. time to him for the safety car. But hopefully he can use that tire advantage and get past the Mesa and then try yeah. to put on a move on Steel Sneeze. Because so far it seems that Steel Sneeze is just way too quick for everyone else. So I think Safety Car is going to go on for one more lap, yeah. Yeah, yeah one more lap. Hmm, I think this gives us a bit of time yeah. about what's I... happening. In I guess you know I, one. Yeah. I actually yeah, you know ahead. it's 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 time to bring out uh, random facts uh, yes bring about, out your fact book and yes. facts about Austin Texas yeah so but Austin... you can ignore Alabama in that list <laughs> we don't talk about that yeah so <laughs> so Austin wasn't originally called Austin it was initially called Waterloo so in 1839 they named it after the so-called father of Texas Stephen F Austin so Till then it was called Waterloo and now that's how we know it as Austin. So that is the fact of today's race, I guess. Indeed, the Battle of Waterloo. Something <laughs> which I do remember reading about, but uh yeah. See what these drivers have in hand. Hopefully. Hopefully yeah. there's no more safety cars. No, <laughs> no more safety cars. Uh, the racing we, we were watching was quite good. Quite so good, it's yeah. A, it's a pity that uh, the safety cars are coming out and ruining that. But No, that's, that's uh, on you. But anyways, uh, let's uh, see what else yeah. we have. Let's have a look at what the first lap of the race is so far. Could we have a look at that data if that's possible? I think it should be under cap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So forty-seven point four is what did pop up, and the closest driver to that is uh, Stelly Sunny, who is one point two seconds off of that lap. I uh, no, sorry, it's nine, who is one point one se exactly one second off of that lap. So, yeah. That just shows how much uh, pace that Williams has in the locker. And when asked to push, you will certainly push. And I think it's about to get. Uh, it's it's time to get uh, go. It's time to get go racing once again. As yeah. a struggle for words there, as these drivers drivers are going to struggle for traction. Hopefully, everybody's going to have a better restart. Uh, seeing what uh, Steel Sneeze did do before, he's going to try a different approach to his restart and we challenge him into turn one, because you know just having being the car in front, even if you have a pace deficit. 
you can yeah. easily defend in the wet. So it's going to be important to ABD to try and at least put his nose into turn one. But it all depends on uh, the restart right now. Yeah, and uh, we can see uh, Steel Sneeze not really giving, you know, doing any tactics, just pushing as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, and he has already pulled out seven tens from ABD. So yeah, he's had a good restart. And uh, and we can see Wish is losing traction right there. I mean, it's really, really challenging, especially with those cold tires. So... Ink has gone down the inside of E-Dog. So Ink has got a fantastic restart. E-Dog is going to try and challenge it and no, he's going to have to back out because again, as you pointed out, not very advisable to go side by side in the section. Vicious is going to try and do just that and pulls off a great move on the hearse of right, right there. That's one for the cameras uh, in into the S section. Uh, he does have the tire advantage, I think, but oh, no, they're both on equal tires. So yeah, great move from the McLaren driver right there. Yeah, and uh, you know, missed. I mean, for now, missed. You know he's having he he has much fresher tires and uh, if he's up for it he can make a couple of positions and you know get home those decent points especially since Ferrari hasn't had the best of seasons you know the this year. Yes, that short we saw him going very wide into that hairpin. I think he just missed his breaking point. That's death by monkey getting very close to the McLaren vicious. Who's going to try and do a switch back? That's a textbook switch back, and you'll love to see it. And he gets the yeah. position right back there and then. Did uh, Jose leave the race? Or did yes, he yeah, I think he left the session. He just saw a message had popped up. Yeah. So that's unfortunate for him. You know, he's. And, you know, one thing with the AI is it's not that great, especially. So, yeah, he'll have to make some positions up once he's back into the lobby. And he's back. Yeah, but he's lost a lot of time uh, to uh, Ink and Edo right there, and, and Ink is right up on his diffuser, one point one tenth behind, and now he's past him. Uh, Jose will be taking control of his car shortly. Hopefully, it's at a good time. Further up in front, we can see Stelly Sunny is very very close to the rear of ABD, and so is Nine. He's just waiting by his time. But further up, out in front. Steel Steels once again has put on the afterburners and 2.4 seconds clear of P2. Yeah, and uh, like as we discussed, you know, during quality session, the one thing with Nine, you know, we are told like he can make up those positions in the race even if he didn't have a good quali uh, you know, qualifying. So it's good to see that, uh, you know, he's up there challenging for the final podium position. Absolutely. And. Uh... Few positions being swapped. I think Jose is back in the lobby. He tagged oh. Nirvana and both of them get dragged out into the uh, outside. It's a very risky rejoin right there by uh, Nirvana. And I think he nearly took out one of the cars who just was about to tap him. But luckily, yeah. nothing happened over there. And it's unfortunate that, you know, uh, Jose rejoined, at, especially just near the corner. So, yeah, it's. Uh... Now, now he has to make up a lot of ground, especially, you know, since he was P5 and now he's P15. Oh, the house gets pushed all the way to the runoff and he's, there's no grip over there, especially in the wet. Both the house is now trying to switch swap positions and yeah, I think uh, Vettel hasn't looked very, very confident in these conditions right now. That's move being made for P2 side by side into the last corner. Yeah, but he's holding up against his own line. He's going to sniff this opportunity. It's going to be three wide heading onto the back straight. Is he going to go for a late dive bomb down the inside? Oh, the Alpha Tauri sends it down the inside. He gets the move done. Everybody tries to hang it around the outside. No room to do that there. Nine gets two positions in one corner. That's one for the cameras right there. Yeah, what a move from nine. I mean, two two overtakes, you know, within just one corner. So right now, he'll be put, trying to put pressure on Steel's knees to get that P1. And we have seen him, you know, out there, you know, fa but trying to fight for that win. So a good move. And we can see Deadshot making a move right there. Uh, Very aggressive move. I think he really ran him out of track right there. Yeah. But, uh, what a fantastic move by the Alpha Tauri right there. That was spectacular. He just 
sensed those two drivers fighting and said, all right, you guys have had enough. You've had your fun. I'm going to take both those places right now. And he just slipped on the ink and E-Dog are still fighting with each other. And I mean, E-Dog these guys gone. have been battling for the entire race. But side further by behind, side. Vicious is on six lap fresher tires compared to Ink. So he's going to have a huge pace advantage right now. And Ink and E-Dog are pushing each other off the track. Vicious is going to take both those positions. Was it out there? I think there yeah, was a I, slight tap, I, but Vicious has still kept his nose there. Ink is trying to go around the outside. But it's not going to have the tires to do so, and Vicious gets that move done and dusted. Very good move by the McLaren right there. Yeah, and 9, you know, he's catching up to Steve's knees. Only 3.4 seconds, so yeah. he's he's on it. And uh, yeah, hopefully in a couple of laps, we'll see that uh, new change for the lead. But do watch out for Vicious. He was He's going to have the freshest tires of the lot right now. And yeah. he's surely going to make a charge. I think the gap is a bit too big. But you never yeah. know with the with the grip advantage he has right now. Full exit for the Haas and gets on by uh, and overtakes the Williams of uh, Death by Monkey right there. Yeah, and uh, Deadshot out here trying to put on pressure on Jose Hero. And oh, it's very, very close. And uh, yeah, I think Deadshot needs to be really, really careful. He's already had a couple of... Uh, sketchy movements with other drivers, so yeah, I think I would just be patient and try to overtake where there is some space to make sure, you know, to make a move done. Yep, yep, and uh, I think Nine is slowly dropping back now from uh, Steel Sneeze, but still, he's just kept his nose in there. ABD, however, has been the biggest use of that battle, he's dropped so massively. Now it's going to slowly come into the clutches of uh, Vicious. There's a bit of uh, position swapping going on around there, but the E-Dog and they're still going tooth and nail with each other. They're not giving a moment to rest. This is a fantastic battle we've had all race long, long between those two drivers right there. And uh, Josie is trying to make up for the damage and the disconnect he got uh, in the race, and he's going to try and make a move on the Williams right there. The two cars behind him trying to go side by side as well. That's a dead shot and Mitch, they've been, uh, you know, fighting all race as well. And I think that shot gets that move done and dusted right there. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, and we can see, you know, uh, Jose, we know that he has the pace, but... Yeah, it's not easy, especially during inters in a track where you do need DRS to overtake and... Uh, yeah. And we can see, is that... Death by Monkey has gone to the pits, yeah. So I guess he Thingy has the some wall. sort I think he was in the wall. Oh. Okay. Looks like he hit the wall for that brief moment. I swear that Ragnar has got a speeding into the pit lane penalty. Okay, so I'm going to help his cause whatsoever. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So he's got a 10 second for corner cutting, I think, by the looks of it, because he had a 3 second before. So I think that's also quite easy to do So in, in, in when coming into the pit lane, because there's a lot of, uh, there's that red runoff which you can use, but uh, if you're too much, it does give you a warning. So and He's on the mediums. No, okay, okay. he's trying something brave. It, the track has dried up, I was noticing that. But I don't think it's dry enough for mediums. Yeah, he's already losing, he's bleeding time. Every after every half a second, he's losing more yeah. and more time, and yeah, not the right decision for not the right decision. At, at least, all. I think I would have gone if you're trying, you would gamble on the softs, not on the yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, we can see right here Vettel Bihari Bajpai, you know, trying to put the pressure on the two Red Bull boys out there. So, yeah, I think he'll also be trying to be making some moves, you know, considering that the other Haas driver is down there at P15 with uh, 13 seconds of for the penalty with them. Nine has massively closed up to uh, Steve Sneeze. It was 3.7 yeah. few laps ago, now it's 2.4. So, so is Vicious think... closing up on ABD. Uh, that's uh, definitely happening because the tire difference is just so massive. It's uh, what? What's that right? Seven Five, laps. Six yeah. laps. Six, seven laps, yeah. yeah. Six laps. So. Uh, yeah, Vicious is definitely going to be one to look out for. Maybe a podium is on the cards for him if he can get uh, those moves done without any, uh, you know, uh, holding back or being held back by anyone. But 
uh, Middle Bihari Vajpayee trying to go for the move on the Red Bull, unable to do so, can't quite get the exit quick uh, right enough, but uh, still has his Mukhmur there behind Nirvana. Ink has dropped off quite a bit now and he's being challenged by his teammate with the two left fresher tires. Ink has also lost the position to Gearship Guru, which we missed as well. So, uh, yeah, not not quite a good turn of events for the Red Bull driver who's, uh, who's uh, racing today after a long, long time. But he's still going to push on. Yeah, and uh, the Haas driver really close to Nirvana right there. So, I'm sure, you know, he's really not helping the cause for those two Red Bull boys up ahead. And, uh, yeah. Also, he's... Okay, so will he make a move? No, he has a look, but chooses to back off. So yeah, I think a move is imminent. he's left the session. Oh, okay, so this is the perfect... Okay, so... I think this is perfect for ABD. Uh, if he can make up those two seconds by the time Stealthy Sunny joins in. And he has he's already... already tens behind, yeah. He's gonna make it. Yeah, What's so... interesting to note is that Vicious has sort of slowed down on his uh, catching pace to these guys in front. He was gaining a lot of time, but now he's sort of just yeah. trickling that gap down. So, uh, hopefully he can, uh, you know, put on a very late charge is when the ties will be crying for the guys in front. Yeah, and uh, I think it's crucial for ABD to, you know, gain as many positions as you can considering that, you know, Steel Sneeze has been really dominant this race and there's no way he's getting the win, but if he can do some sort of damage limitation, I think that would be the best case scenario for his championship battle. Yeah. Wait, Seals needs left a session as well? Oh, okay. So, uh, I think he's still there in the lobby, but yeah, that gap has opened up to 3.6 once again. So, nine, nine's uh, charge has uh, slowly come to a halt. Eight more laps to go in this Grand Prix. Vicious is right up behind Stelly Sunny and I think that move is uh, surely on the cards it's because it's a ghosted card, so he's just going to go right back to him. Yeah. Currently, and... Vettel, uh, no, Death by Monkeys in the freshest tires, but he's too far back. But further up ahead, Vettel's on eight lap alternators, and he's surely making a charge on Nirvana right now as uh, he wishes goes for the move on the ghosted card of Stanley Sunny. And, so, the one uh, person that that is, uh, you know, getting closing in is Jose Hero, who was way far off and now even on those old uh, inters he's still you know getting close to you know the three up ahead so i'm sure you know he'll also be trying to make getting those positions in for those good couple of points absolutely seven more laps to go the gaps have sort of equalized nirvana is the only person within uh, a second and uh, not anymore but Jose is the only person within a second of the car in, in front of the house of Vatil uh, Bihari Vajpayee will he get him though I don't think he's going to have the tyres to do so like yeah seven lap older tyres compared to the house and uh, it's going to be a, a, long, a mighty ask for him to get that position done the fastest lap has been taken by Death by Monkey, rightfully so, considering he's only on three lap old hinter tyres and I think no one else is going to break that. Dead shot has picked for soft tyres. We have a gambler on softs. Uh, but let's I don't see think if it's... he's going to bleed time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look dry at all. So, yeah, I think he should have seen Aisha Raikkonen, especially when he went on the slicks. It's not really the time for it. And uh, yeah, there's still uh, quite a amount of spray left on the track, so I think he needs to wait. He could have waited for at least a couple more laps before he tried something like that. Yep. Vicious has closed in even more now, 2.4 seconds a gap. As we have uh, another invite being sent out to the disconnected cars in the session. 2.5, still the gap, Selly Sunny is dropping further and further back like a stone in the ocean. Uh, There's a good scrap still going on. Nirvana is still finding himself behind Ink, and I think in Nirvana might have more pace than the car in front, but Ink is just not letting him go, and they're fighting for position. 
Yeah, and we can see Ink, you know, just parking at the apex of every corner and then he's bolting it, bolting out of the exit. So, yeah, it is not real. I, I'm pretty sure Nirvana's right there, you know, just cursing, you know, for the fact that he can't get past him and, you know, you know, put pressure on Gearshift Guru for that P7. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, Ink has kind of formed a train right now behind. So, good for him. He, he I guess, you know, with that return after a long time after racing, it's good to see him uh, do really well out there. That shot's strategy has not worked at all. He goes, no, Nirvana goes completely wide and Vettel's going to take that position on both of them. It seemed for a moment, I think he was going to take on both the cars, but no, it's just the one car. They're still going side by side through those corners and uh, yeah, Nirvana decided to back out there. So good move by uh, car of uh, Vettel Bihari Vashpai right there. Still, he's only losing yet another position. He still has not joined the session back, so his uh, his race is pretty much done and dusted now. Unless it yeah. does dry up and the softs actually do start working, we have uh, another driver in the softs uh, missed as well. We can see dead shot closing in. Kind of missed is uh, no, he's dropping back. He's dropping back quite yeah. a bit. So softs are really not the way to go. I mean, the track does look, still look wet. So yeah, there's a lot of amount of spray right there. So I don't think that was a right strategy to go for. But uh, yeah, that's that's how it is. You know, when you gamble, either it pays off or it doesn't. There's no in between. Yeah. And and is that stealthy Sunny? Oh, he's still disconnected. Okay. Yeah. Precious, who was 1.7 seconds behind ABD, is now 2.1. So, ABD sort of replied to his pace and he's pushing on. But I think after lap 25, Vicious is his tires will be in prime condition compared to those guys in front because their tires will be very even, especially ABD, who's on 19 lap oriented tires. Granted, yeah. six of those laps were, were under safety car. Also, uh, nine. Still... Also, one thing I noticed is nine has started to close in again. So he yeah. lost about a second and he now he's gaining all that back. So I don't know if he was trying to hold on to those tires, you know, nurse them for a while. So, you know, towards the end, he can start pushing. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, the way it's going, he's closing in rapidly to Street Sneeze. DRS has been enabled. DRS has been enabled. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. So if right now Mist and Deadshot are in the prime position too, they need to push uh, as quick as they can. But I don't think who's uh, someone's has. They have to pit right now. They have to pit for soft cars. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean the track doesn't look dry enough. But for some reason we have got <laughs> DRS. Yeah. DRS. Yeah. So that's very very odd. But. Uh, yeah, I think this this just makes the battle even more interesting than uh, how it was. And you know, one the this 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 DRS train is going to be interesting to see because for a while Ink was holding them all, all up, and uh, yeah, now let's see if Ink can hold them up with the DRS enabled. He's gone. See, he's, he's okay. gone into the pits. pits. So has uh, no, no. Nine has continued out. Nine has continued out. He's not risking it for the biscuit. He is. He is going out on ahead. He's he's not going for so the is ABD. tires. And so is ABD as well. So Steel Sneeze is going to have a monumental task ahead of him. Trying to get back uh, three positions uh, in the span of uh, four laps. And the gap is quite large at this moment. He's lost another position. He's down to P4. So... It all depends on how quickly they can catch up. We're going to have to have a look at the delta very carefully. 3.0, 3.0 still. Yeah, uh, it's more to how long does it take uh, for the pit stop? I mean, the entire like 22, 26, 22, something. 23, I think. 20, it's a long pit, pit lane actually. It's 23, yes. 24. So even if you take 25 six seconds now, he's, he's gained four tenths. Sorry to interrupt, interrupt that dark night, but he's gained five, six tenths now. Yeah, I think the softs are finally, finally in the window. And uh, I think nine and ABD are going to be left out to drive. Will they pit or will they just stay out? I think they have to pit. They're going to lose just too much time. And in fact, if they're not careful, they might lose a position to Vicious as well. Yeah, and uh, I think with Aisha Reitman and Deadshot, I think they pitted just a bit too early. 
I mean the call was right it's just a bit too early and if they just waited out for a couple of laps like... we go on more vicious he's right behind uh, uh uh the car of Nirvana and he's going to get held up massively in the section he's got to get a move done in this section right now unless uh, he does want to lose too much time he said this is a purple sector which i think is applicable because he is on the on the soft tire right now is he going to send it down the inside yes he does the superior grip comes into play and you can see the braking distance it's so much more i can't be i tried to go for a switch back but i don't think the grip is available and this is possible to try and attempt that and vicious gets to move down now it's going to be important to note uh, to where is uh, nine going to come out in 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 really in relative to vicious is he going to come out behind him yeah for sure vicious is easily getting past him it might be close yeah. actually no it wasn't and uh... oh yeah he's going to come out just behind him so it's it's not all over for nine but abd is lost out of vicious so that is not going to help him on his uh, championship push and that's a uh, that's a very golden point he's losing out on there after losing that position Vicious. Yeah, and uh, ABD missed out. I mean, he should have pitted when Steel Sneeze went into the pits, especially when he saw that DRS was enabled. But yeah, that gamble, of course, didn't pay off with the track drying up massively. So yeah, it's the not reason good. he's retired. Okay. Oh, he's, that... I think he's got the he's got the rejoin glitch, man. I think that's oh. what's happened to him. Hopefully, that's not a safety car uh, or a VSC. If yeah. It's a safety car. It's going to spice up things. I'll tell you that, but I don't think it is. I don't Nishvana think it is. Nirvana is yeah. still out on the inters. I have no clue why. So is Death by Monkey, uh, who also gets okay. a three-second time. Okay. Still... I mentioned his name. I mean, the car is still out on track, and there's no safety car. So hopefully, it just clears away by the time these guys are there. Yeah, okay, yeah, so that's yeah, cleared up. Yeah. 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 Oh. And that's uh, Vettel Bihari watch by making a move. On ink, yeah. yeah. So he's there in the DRS. Yeah. And Inc. Jose uh, Hero, yeah. P11, Jose. Jose up to P9. Good comeback from him. He was at the tail end of the field. This sort of uh, these condition swapping have uh, sort of helped him quite massively. Steel sneeze. That's a 42.0. See what nine does. Nine hasn't got a chance to vicious. That's a 41.5. Vicious is rapid. On these tires right now, he's surely going to catch up all the way back up to nine, and uh, a move is going to be on the cards for the McLaren driver. Yeah, and uh, nine obviously losing a lot of time to steel sneeze. So yeah, it, you know he was on a spit for new inters. Why? Yeah, he should have just stayed on. I, okay. No, he should have been put softs if anything. Softs, yeah. Wait, wait. Inters. Okay, <laughs> I thought I thought he was you know he just went into the pits to put for softs. Okay. Yeah, I think he has, he has forgotten to change. Yeah, he's made a big, massive mistake. Oh boy! His tires are just going to fry up in a couple of. Yeah. May buy this Absolutely. lap. Absolutely. Yeah. Not a good look for him. And uh, now Vettel Bihari back with right behind the you know tail of uh, Jose Hero. And uh, yeah, I think a move is uh, imminent right now with the DRS that is there. This has been a very topsy turvy race. Mixed conditions from wets to winters to dries. You got the entire lot. Yeah. Conditions prepared for us. Uh, um, yeah. Kirshan and... Guru about to make a move on Death by Monkey, and rightfully so. He's on the inter. This is going to be like taking candy from a baby oh. right there. He breaks so much later and goes off track. I think he broke a bit too late. He could have braked yeah. a bit earlier and still got the move done. But yeah, Kirshan Guru is on a charge, and next up on his list is uh, E Dog. Yeah, and uh, obviously ABD not able to you know keep up with the guys ahead, and it you know that he should have gone the pits in my opinion with these teams, but yeah, that gamble didn't pay off. And he he has nine, some work to nine do. has responded massively. He was he was one point one second quicker than CC. He's put out three seconds on Vicious, so he saw the charge from Vicious yeah. and he responded absolutely instantly, and he's. He's 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 cut all chances okay. of a move being done by the McLaren that's missed in the wall yet again. Hopefully it's not a VSC and yeah, no no one's here. So no it's VSC, be yeah. no intervention from race control. But two more laps to go. Uh, the only battle on the cards right now is between Jose and Vettel Bihari Vajpayee. One second behind. Hopefully he can get within DRS uh, before the DRS detection in this section. 
Yeah, and uh, nine, you know that it didn't pay off for him because we can see he's rapid under these conditions, under these dry conditions. But yeah, just a bit too late to the pits, and uh, yeah, sadly, I don't think the way it's going, it doesn't look like the win is in his hands anymore. Yeah, four point four seconds. I mean, if it was a dry race, I'm pretty sure nine would have won this easily because he's got yeah. a huge, huge pace advantage on the cars in front. That's Vettel uh, having a huge snap of Overstier and Jose should be sailing past him. Let's have a look at the telemetry and see the ERS. Yeah, five percent easy. He's gonna have to hold back for one more lap. One more chance is all he's gonna get to make that move done. Uh, the only pattern on the cards right now, everyone else is more than a second off of the card next to them, so I'm gonna have to stick on board with the Merc of Jose. 939.6, and wow, yeah, he's he's absolutely rapid. Let's have a look at the fastest laps and uh, see how much faster that was. 1.2 seconds a lap quicker than uh, Steve Smith, so yeah, 9 is uh, definitely if it was a dry race, he would would have had a very, 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 very good performance with that. Jose is not having a good last set and he's dropped out of DRS yet again. Uh, who's that? Oh yeah, that's... Uh, that's, that's uh, right. Wait, what? Why is he still on the Inters? He's not even disconnected. <laughs> he yeah. just tried to do something and hold out, but uh, yeah, it's become his own undoing and he's gone off way wide there and Jose, Jose just slips on by. Yeah, I think his tires must be hot as hell right now. I mean, it, it must be in frying up at this point. It's... Uh, yeah, it oh, was yeah, not easily. a good... It's not a good Easy. gamble from his side, yeah. And uh, we can see what else is going on. Ink, who's right there behind Death by Monkey. I'm pretty sure this move is... Easy move. Easy yeah. move. So good, good performance by Ink P9 on his return. Yeah, uh, send it down the inside. Yeah. Oh, sliding the rears there and getting the move done. Jose, is he with the Imbalan DRS? Yes, he is. Eight yeah. tenths off though. I don't think it's going to be enough to close the gap all the way down. Uh, the half is flashing, but yeah, Jose is a bit too the far Steve back to make that move. Around the final corner. Comes across the line and sets the fastest lap as well. Level 9 take it back. I uh, guess he does. 79.0. So, good battle of the fastest laps in the end there, and that was fun to watch, but yeah, very, very yeah. good drive from the Williams. Uh. And uh, Vicious coming around to close up the final podium position, and Ooh. we can see Jose with a spin. Oh, that is really, really unfortunate for Jose. I mean, he was doing so well, uh, but yeah. He's going to have to, he's going to lose the place on Nirvana as well, I think. No, he, I yeah, think he's got he... no, he doesn't have damage, so yeah, he's no. gonna keep it that. Yeah, at least he has the soft eyes, but yeah, uh, P8 was on the cards for him, but yeah, dead man, Nonetheless... an absolute chad finishing in P9, P9. on the tires. What a chad! Yeah, what a chad! <laughs> and uh, dead shot P12, the gamble didn't pay off for him, he pitted way too early. Same goes for yeah. Aishwarya Raikkonen, who. He it on the right time, but I think he was a bit too far back to make a dent on the grid above. Yeah. Was, yeah. I think it was a lap too early. I think if he had waited for one more lap, I think he could have done something about it. But uh, yeah, uh, it didn't work out for him and missed. Rounding off for a P13 finish and to uh, complete. And gets the fastest lap. Get the fastest <laughs> it lap. takes us away from P1 and 2. So that's one point away from, you know, Steve season nine, who's obviously up there with championship. So, at least good for ABD. He's he has that one point of damage limitation. But yeah, I think he has some work to do for the next remaining races. Yeah, uh, he's gonna he's gonna lose a bit of points today to the position in P1. But uh, yeah, great race. Some very sexy battles we saw, especially in that twisty section which I didn't mention was going to be one to look out for. Also so. the interchangeable conditions, I mean, from wets oh, yeah. to intermediates yeah. to dries yeah. and yeah. Yeah, all, so all three possible conditions you had. So all is fun to see uh, in a race and uh, we're just yeah, taking great, in the great, lap times uh, just for yeah. the stewards. But any final thoughts on that overall race start, mate? I think. Yeah, I mean, good. it was Part quite good race. Cars, which did slow down the pace. It did slow down, but uh, towards the end, I mean, with the interchangeable conditions, it was absolute 
you know scenes to watch and uh, yes good to see some people also making up some positions with uh, the safety cars so yeah not a not a good race for uh, people like jose and uh, mist but uh, regardless uh, great race for vicious who you know started vicious and nine especially who started further back and uh, got to finish in the podium places absolutely i mean surely overtake of the week is going to be eating good tonight because we saw some beautiful moves throughout the entire grid and uh, yeah i think we've got a podium finishes in the vc as well barring one who just refuses to come but that is your race winner and uh, yeah congrats to steel sneeze he drove a very 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 dominant race and we'll surely be heading on to the podium interviews i think that's just the final look at the grid and uh, yeah let's start with p3 that's the normal rundown we have we have vicious in the chat room so vicious congrats on the podium very topsy turvy race for you were you expecting a podium after yeah. the wet stint because i think you were caught up in a few incidents here and there so talk us through it Uh, so it was uh, a very bad qualifying for me i messed up my second run and then my third run again so i had to start like in the mid pack and i decided to take the wet stint very cautiously so i was taking it very slowly but then i got a tap from jose which was very unlucky for me and i lost my wing there so i had to pit for a new wing and then in the safety car i made a mistake myself and tapped ink and lost the wing again so i had to pit again and i went to the back of the grid and then after that it was just damage limitation but i had the pace on inters like the pace was really good it, the car felt very good so i took that i took up the positions i pit for sauce on the perfect lap and yeah i under undercut tbd and got my podium yeah great drive and uh, there was a moment on the soft stint where you were absolutely rapid you were closing up to 9 But then I think your nine sort of saw that and responded. Did you think you had a chance of getting P two, or did did you think the nine was going to pull away at the end of it? Uh, at the when uh, nine was exiting the pits, I thought that I had the chance because he'll be on uh, his tire attempts will be cold. But then yeah, after yeah. that, when it went up, I was like, no, I'm I'm not catching him, and I was like, I'll just take the P three and not make any mistakes. So yeah, I was I was not pushing it to the limit after that. interesting anyways good 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 stuff from you and dark knight you got any questions to add to that no i think you uh, covered everything right there uh, just from my side a very good race from uh, for you wishes i'm very happy for you so good job thank thank you guys thank you for the comments yeah no problem man dark knight you can take nine's interview hala hmm. yeah if there's anything to add if is a uh, nine in the vc e, yeah the okay so hello nine hello cyberpunk hello another hello. podium finish <laughs> from your side so very good race we got to see you know we we saw you didn't have a really good quali but you made uh, the progress in the race so talk us through your race i mean uh my first lap through qualifying i got impeded by a red bull so that kind of ruined my set of first set of tires and um then the last run i did have a very good uh you know overall pace throughout the lap but i kind of missed out and made a couple of mistakes through the final sector which really uh, dropped my time a lot So yeah, I mean, starting P nine, and given that it was a wet race, I knew like I could have. I mean, making a positions would be relatively easier than it would be in the dry. So yeah, I just kept my calm. I focused on not taking too many risky, making too many risky maneuvers, and going for only short overtakes. And uh, that that's it. I mean, it was just about keeping my composure. A steel sneeze had a very dominant race throughout. He was in control of it and far ahead. So it was, I mean, reaching out, reaching to him even in the final stages, uh, wasn't really possible. But I am actually very satisfied with my P two after starting P nine. So I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, and uh, we did see that you did not go for the pit stop. You know, you stuck out. So was that a conscious thing? Because even A B D and you guys lost a lot of time, especially with the uh, change in conditions so so uh, uh, when it was the crossover period i mean i after in fact i boxed for softs a lap later 
than uh, the others, which is uh, Steel Sneeze and Vicious. And uh, even after I came out uh, of the box, after after the softs, I could still see very light puddles on, uh, you know, in the S's in, in the first sector. So, I mean, I that, that was a conscious decision because I could see there was still standing water a little bit and I did not want to risk it at all because, you know, even one puddle could send me into the barriers directly. So even though, I mean, if I would have boxed one lap earlier, I possibly could have battled Steel Sneeze for the win, but I would, I rather wanted to cement my position in, D, uh, in P2. So I stayed out for one lap extra and made sure that when the conditions are proper and obviously I had Red as my race engineer who was in the VC with me and giving me call outs. So it was his yeah. decision as well. So yeah, regardless, a really good result from your side. So yeah, anything to add, Moto? Nope, nothing at all. I think that was a very good drive from you. Uh, oh, you weren't very yes. confident in the wet stint, I think, but in the dry stint, you really sort of showed your Yeah, I was, I was very skeptical, uh, at least in the first sector, through the yeses, and uh, in yeah. during the yeah. uh, right, I mean, uh, triple right-hander in sector three. So th- those were the two areas where I was really skeptical on getting on the throttle. But uh, the rest of the track was flowing well for me and obviously then in in the in the dries and in clean air it, it felt like the entire car came alive so yeah, yeah. but i think also... if you if you did pit, uh when the steel sneeze in front of you pit maybe you would have a chance of getting him because you were not that far behind i, I was about five. four four seconds behind four uh, seconds but, yeah so... but you did close that gap quite quick yeah, I I deployed earlier to close that gap down, and then he deployed towards the towards the end uh, mm-hmm. to get the fastest lap, but he couldn't because Mystic I or missed I don't know uh, one of those guys took it yeah, away. Yeah, missed. Uh, it was missed. Missed. Yeah, it was missed that took it away in the Ferrari. So it it, it was all fair. Also, nine. I want to ask: Are you still in the cyber cafe for this race also? Uh, Dark Tide, you're gonna have to deal with me being in the cyber cafe for at least another two to three weeks. No, that's absolutely fine since, uh, you know, every time you're in the cyber cafe, you are on the podium. So, yeah, I think, uh, I guess you have to continue. I think that is your lucky charm. So, yeah, so I, he I, hasn't unleashed his true power as well. True power, so. yeah, exactly. Okay, so I think we have three more uh, races remaining, three more weekends, right? So, I think I can manage three more weekends from the cyber cafe. Yeah, that's great for those guys also allowing you to do it. But, yeah, fantastic stuff and... Congrats. Thank and you. Thank you. Guys. For the last two. Yeah, at Thank least you, you don't appreciate. give uh, weird excuses to not show up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. That will uh, be mentioned later, but congrats to Steel Sneeze as well. He drove a fantastic race, albeit he's not here to take the interview. But yeah, that's me, uh, Otto. That's me, Moto, and uh, Darky just signing off uh, to join us tonight at 8 p.m. We're going to have Tier 1 racing in quota as well. Uh, so that's going to be fantastic to watch and yours truly will be racing so will dark Knight. so yeah go on and cheer for us right there but, so will simply but uh so yeah simply as well yeah so yeah uh yeah i hope you had a good one lads and uh, we'll see you tonight at 8 p.m ciao yeah peace out guys